Electric Starship fans, this is Mike with you once again from the Electric Starship Arcade. We got to do a little video update. It's May 2022. We got an expansion coming. I can't wait to show you all the things we're going to do for June. But uh, right past, you see where there's a cloth right there, right past the House of the Dead 2 and the Carnival and the Aliens, there's an expansion going on. So we'll be expanding very, very soon. But unfortunately, one of the games I got for this expansion is so big and it's going in here, I had nowhere to hide it. All right, so we got to show you that today. So you can kind of see, we'll do a full arcade tour when we get the expansion up. You'll get to see us building it. I'll put some different videos in for that. But uh, I got two games going new for May. One's big, one is, you know, big as far as stature in the arcade. So um, let's talk about the first one first. It is Street Fighter III Third Strike. And now I have this in our big blue mop bucket uh, in the big blue here. And man, it is just absolutely gorgeous. Let's try and get a, some of that. I'm trying to find that marquee, just a color here for that marquee not to be blown out. I'll zoom in here in just a second, you'll see it. But that's our third strike. This was our Street Fighter X Men cabinet. And we got third strike running, original hardware. I did have to put a SCSI drive instead of a CD ROM drive. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's running good. And it is absolutely beautiful. But excuse the frame rate in this video. Uh, but you can just see it is amazing here. And uh, we're excited to have it. Let's look at this marquee. Oh, there it, it popped in. Man, that's just great. With uh, Chun-Li, it's funny, you just go back and forth and you see that. Just a great Chun-Li third strike, big blue marquee. Check it out. So, can't play one-handed, and I don't know all these characters. We'll just get Ken Wolf really quick. And there you go. They give you a little bit of gameplay. Look, I can throw a fireball with one hand. Bang! Oh, come on. Anyway, long story short, I can't play this one handed. <laughs> but look at that. Who is not excited for third strike? So we got our. Uh, Grandmaster Challenge there. Third strike there, they'll be sitting big blue side by side. Let's look in the back before, I, I wanted to show y'all before I soak this whole thing up. There's Adam Bomb right there up close and personal. Took out our CPS2 board. That's our X-Men versus Street Fighter. And we put in this guy here and I wish you could see it. Matter of fact, I think I got a light in my pocket here. Let's try this thing out. Boom, there you go. CPS2. Third strike, there it is. And that's a little SCSI drive I got instead of a CD-ROM drive. Uh, but yeah, game's loaded up and ready to rock. So, exciting. We had to do a little work on the board to get it to show up on this uh, actual uh, K7000 Wells Gardner monitor. Believe it or not, there was three transistors on the board that was causing smearing, or this game would about have a lot longer. Me and my brother, brother Matt figured this thing out, you know, so in the colors are, it's too bad that, you know, there's a frame right here, because the colors are just gorgeous, but, uh, hey, come to the arcade so you can see it, that is really, really nice, let's back it up, get it in its glory there, so freaking cool, third strike in a big blue, and now this next one, I can't believe it, excuse the long hair too, I gotta get that cut today, uh, this next one's huge, and not just for the arcade huge, but huge in general, and that is Dark Escape 4D. Now, this game is a Bandai, it's a Nameco game, Bandai Nameco or Nameco Bandai, I don't know who gets the first uh, first rights there, but it is a scary game, guys. Uh, this is not advice for children. This game came out in 2012, and uh, we just had, just got a good deal on it. Really excited about this thing. Uh, I think this came out of one of your big box places, uh, and we picked it up from a liquidator, and it's in great shape. There's hardly a scuff or anything on the cabinet. It was so big, I had to take the roof off of it just to get it in the door. So all those roof pieces you see there, I had to take all this stuff off of it. And if you haven't played this, it's absolutely amazing. I don't know how much of it we can actually get on film. Let's go in here. So you got your anxiety, panic, terror, breakthrough. The cycle never ends. So anyway, it's 
3D, it's got vibrating seat, it's got air, it's got surround sound, it's panic sensor, so that's why they call it 4D because you've got some air that blows on you here. And uh, look at this great environmental cabinet. You got this uh, scary glow here, and then these big hand cannons. And in those hand cannons are sensors to actually check your heart rate. Now they got way too bright a light on this thing here. So when you start a game, this thing glows. So I just put a piece of tape over it for now. We're gonna have to put a different button on that. Uh, but man, check this thing out. So I'm gonna hit start here, just so you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and start her up. And I'm gonna switch to 2D, because, <laughs> unless I'm gonna play. Yeah, so y'all can actually see the graphics on this game, because it is phenomenal and super scary. Like I said, it's a very frightening game. <laughs> to say the least. So you move these hand cannons around here and uh, you can pick something different. It's fear of the dark, that one's fear, of, that one's fear of the dark, this one's fear of pursuit, this one's fear of vermin. And then uh, that one's not selectable yet, so I think you have to beat these other ones. This prison one's fear of the dead. Let's go with this, we'll just take it first time player mode here. And, uh, get that going. And so it detects your heart rate, which I think that is so freaking neat. I mean, what a great game. And uh, just a cool environment. It's nice and dark in here. And uh, I just think, I think kids and everyone else alike will love it. Now, as far as kids go, holy smokes, right? Like. <laughs> This is going to scare the heck out of them. And you got these cool 3D glasses here that you can put on. And the 3D is excellent on this game. The graphics are really great. You know, it's a little bit of a... Are you the one who abducted us? Are you the one who abducted us? Escape from there and make it to the alive and you win. You really don't have any other options. Of course, it wouldn't be fair to leave you alone. So we got a little bit of a saw thing, right? Like he's got us captured and we got to work our way out of this. So I was talking about this glowing button. Jeez. The tape over it. This is not happening. So I'm feeling, again, can't see it in the video, but I'm feeling wind on the back of my neck. Notice this girl, she talks a lot, she narrates. But she doesn't have to shoot her gun very much. Oh, yeah, the gun vibrates in your hand, obviously, too. Let me hit 3D really quick. Alright, like you can see the 3D mode. We're gonna try. Let's go put some 3D glasses on the camera. No. You don't get the effects because you're not looking through both eyes of it. But anyway, that's yeah, so pretty cool, right? You know, you need a 3D on YouTube. But anyway, you get the, you get the gist. It's a really cool game, guys. I'm so excited. I'm blow this guy away really quick. Let's put it back in 2D. It's cool that you can switch on the fly. And blue air on the back of my neck too so uh, there you go i know i know you can hear the vibration it's, it's pretty cool so uh anyway well that's probably going to be it for now i'm going to let this uh these zombies kill me let's see what I wow. okay. big scary monster actually i fought him later i don't know if you him here i'm
not bad anyway. If you haven't seen this Look game, here. come down to the electric starship and check it out. I hope y'all didn't catch any nose hair on the way out of this thing. Like my dog, he's like, nope, I'm out. It's scary in there. Look at him, he knows better. He don't want no part of that smoke. You don't want none of that smoke, do you, Gunner? He's like, nope, that's a scary game. Anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Dark Escape 4D and Street Fighter Third Strike. Well, what can you say? The electric starship, those are great games, guys. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. I know it's a short video. I just want to give you all kind of an update of some things that are going on. I cannot wait. About a month from now, mid-June, what we're looking at, we're going to open that expansion, and I can't wait for you all to see it. It's going to be phenomenal. Uh, so uh, punch that like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.